Hello, hello, hello! This is Cave Johnson Jr. here with Psycho Entertainment. How are you guys doing today? This is part two of my Resident Evil 4 LP, picking right up where I left off. Now, when I left off last time, we were being attacked by a bunch of people. Now we're gonna go up this ladder and get the rest of the stuff inside this house. Da, 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 da. Remember, we found the shotgun here and a hand grenade right beside it. There's also shotgun shells here, and just because it's fun, I'm gonna push this down. So, here's a little fun, like, interesting thing for you guys. First, I'm gonna switch off to my pistol. Reload. Let, jump out that window and come around here to this roof where, the, where that one dude was standing. And you get a spindle! Now see, going into that building gets you a dude with a chainsaw. Going into this building during the raid gets you a Belladonna sister, which is one of the chicks with a chainsaw. Not much difference there. They're both equally hard to kill at the moment. Grenades and shotguns are about the only thing you can use against them. Now you shoot this lock off. And you could use your knife, but I'm kind of lazy. There's a dirty bed here. It appears that stains are a person's blood. Oh no! See, when you do mercenaries, there's a window right there. Oh, wrong button. Right there. Makes it really hard. But there's always stuff in here. You always want to break barrels and crates. I mean, if you haven't already played this game or any of the other games, you know, I mean, it's not like they haven't been out for 10 or 15 years now. Come on, people. Huh? But these little boxes, sometimes they've got stuff in them, too. Most of the time, they'll, like... The only, I've only done it a couple of times where they actually had something in them, and uh, it's never really anything you absolutely need, but it's a good little thing to know. There's a yellow herb back here, and it's always a yellow herb. That's the first one you pick up. There's a red herb right here on the back of this cart. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's another something or other over here. When you do mercenaries, this door is open. And then we go around over here. Well, that's about all that's in this village, uh, except for this building. I gotta go into one more building. <laughs> yeah! Do do it the pussy way. Do it the manly way. Going into this house also gets a Belladonna sister. So basically, if you want to avoid the chainsaw people at the beginning of your game, just avoid the houses altogether and stay back on the bottleneck where the door is. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See? Another chicken egg. The chicken eggs are really helpful. It doesn't seem like it, but it only takes up one space, and they heal you at least a little bit. So, you know, it's something. All right. Now, we go up into this tower, and there's some shotgun ammo up in the top. Um, I'm not, I can't remember exactly if it's when you come back through later with Leon or when you come through with Ada, but there's a spinel here at one point. Spinels are like our basic gems at the moment, guys. They're worth a thousand dollars or whatever these are called. I'm not even completely sure what they're called in this game. But the currency, they're worth a thousand apiece, which isn't a lot, but once you've got like seven or eight of them, it actually can stack up and help you. So like I said, you got to make sure to check every building. This building here actually is there all the time, but it never actually has anything in it. Got to look for these notes. Alert order. Recently, there's been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in the old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel this intrusion at the particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief uh, Bitores Mendez. Oh no, they know I'm here! I didn't just, like, wipe out half the village just now. I mean, how would they know I'm here? <laughs> how they could see the future! No, not really. I mean, it wouldn't be all that hard. And gunfire, and screaming, and 
grenades and a shotgun and <clears throat> all kinds of stuff were going off just now. So wouldn't be all that surprising to know that that guy, uh, you know, would know I'm here. Oh, here's that save point I was looking for. Here's the thing, guys. These blue medallions, there's 15 of them. You only gotta actually We're shoot 10. But, uh, you shoot them and then you get a, you actually get a, a special gun from the merchant in this game called the Punisher. Which I don't normally end up using, but some people like it. It has the ability to go through two enemies. Also, flash grenades really aren't all that, you know, like in this game. Actually, in this game, Resident Evil 4, they're pretty awesome because they work out well. You can stun your enemies with them, and it actually makes sense. You know, you're not just, you know, you're not just fucking around. And but it's not like in number four. I mean, not like in number five when you know they're made in Soviet Russia and grenade stuns you. That bugs the crap out of me. I actually like the stun grenades in this game. I thought they were going to be really awesome in number five, but I don't think I've ever had a single time where it didn't stun me along with my enemies. And I'm sure a lot of people have complained about that before, but it just bugs me. Here's another blue medallion hanging in this tree. That's two. There's one right up... No, out there. There's one on the front of this building. Right... Nope, I missed it again. Damn it. Go back up. Okay. It's there. I know it's there, guys. Now, see? There it is. And... Almost. Almost. Ah, oh, missed it. Got it! Okay. Now, we're gonna go on and shoot this guy back here. Another blue medallion right up there. I always missed that one when I first started this game because I never realized it was right above my head. But it's there. <coughs> ah, no ninja moves. Where do you get all those axes? Did that thing just like duplicate in his hand? That guy must be God. You know, I know that shoulder shot's just gonna piss him off, but at least he knows I'm here. You know, I know you guys are gonna rave in the comments over my aim sucking, but my hands are really shaky today, so it's kinda hard for me to keep the laser pointer in the right spot. Oh, that's right, I'm hurt. I gotta heal. Alright, so combining stuff, guys, this is a big thing in this game. Um, mixing green herbs with a red herb will heal you completely, and then mixing a yellow herb along with that, and you'll end up getting a mixture that actually will increase your health bar. I mean, if you guys didn't already know about that. Once again, this game's been out for a long time, so you guys should know. Like, I, like this game has been out since before I was born. Well, not this one in particular, but this series. And they've had the herb thing in every game. So, honestly, we always used to make joke. <laughs> we always used to make jokes that it looked like pot. Like these guys are just smoking it up to get, you know, heal themselves. Oh, oh I got knifed. Got to, I got to roll up a joint, guys. Oh, everyone, stop! I, I got to hit this joint. So check all these things. Uh, when you come back through here later, they will all have stuff in them again, so make sure you check them again. Um, here's a cool one. A lot of people miss this. You jump down right here at this edge so that you're behind this fence, okay? And then you walk over here. Well, actually, you cut this. Berenstein! Beerstein. Stein. Beer cup! Okay, basically... This is a, one of those special little prize items in this game that you can sell for money, but at the same time, you don't want to sell it just yet because you actually can get three things called cat's eye gems that you put in it. The 
yellow, the green, and the red cat's eye. I forgot this pocket watch over here. You see, I always wonder why can't he just reach up and grab it? Because you actually have to shoot it down. You can't knife it either. And then it's dirty and it's only worth a thousand. Oh, this one's a pearl pendant. Next time it's a pocket watch. And this little blue tag over here is just the merchant telling you that you can you can get the special stuff if you shoot all the blue medallions, so no real point in me picking that up. Oh, but there's another medallion right there. Alright, that's five. And see, normally I sell the Punisher when he gives it to me, but, uh, I mean, you guys can do whatever you want. I just don't like it. I don't think it's a very good handgun, and it doesn't really get all that strong. Being able to shoot through two enemies is cool, but it doesn't really help you all that much in this game. I think I'm about to get hit with a big boulder. Yep. Sprint, Leon! Where are you standing there, white boy? Run! Run! Run, white boy! Yay! Let's see Forrest Gump beat that. Alright, now this one's pretty simple. When they spark light, you just shoot them down. <clears throat> ah. Now, this next part up here is kind of like... Err. Kind of angers people sometimes. Because you gotta get these guys and you don't really want them to notice you before you shoot them because they've all got dynamite but here's a fun little thing if you could shoot the dynamite while it's in it like that it kills them instantly there's a bat chasing me I got it is there still another one chasing me? I don't know really what the bats do because killing them doesn't give you anything. I'm not even sure why you can kill them, but they chase you around and they're really annoying. Now see, there's a guy standing right over there and he thinks I can't see him. He thinks I can't. I got him in the face. I was aiming for his hand, but I got him in the face. Are you telling me that guy really doesn't know I'm here? He just took a bullet to the face. sucks today. There's also a guy in this window. I'm gonna see if I can hit this dynamite. I'm not gonna stand here and try to do this one over and over because I really hate it. If you get too close to that window, he will just throw the dynamite out the window at you. So getting too close, so getting right up to that window to try to shoot the dynamite isn't a very good idea either. Now if I stand here too long, I might get hit with dynamite from over there though. I'm gonna see if I can kind of Come on, come on, Leon, 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 work with me, Leon, come on, man, come on, no, ah, fuck okay, it, whatever, I'm going on, wait a minute, bomb, also there's a spider on the wall, and, oh, yes, ninja moves achieved, look, a spider, just like the bats, there's no real reason to kill them, but it splatters and it's funny. Bear traps. You can use your knife or your gun to disarm them, but stepping in them is pretty stupid. There is a guy right behind that door, right there. He's about to throw a stick of dynamite at- Oh, there it is! See? I told you. I told you he was there. No! Ha ha, you didn't hit me. Now explode. See how that works? Now there's gonna be a guy right over here in front of this window. Do you hear that? Does anyone hear that? Cause it sounds like someone who's fucked. Cause I ain't helping him. Are you running at me with dynamite, you freaking terrorist? Go away! No, 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 no! Yes! Suicide Bomber. I don't think I've ever actually had one run at me while he was holding the dynamite. 
Huh. Okay, so here's back on that uh, crow's nest thing I was telling you guys earlier. Here's your first one by my knowledge. It's right there in that tree, and I'm pretty sure it's just a spindle. Oh, no, red cat's eye. Now see, here's what we use this red cat's eye for. Cat's eye gems, you go up to keys and treasures, and then you pop it into your Berenstein, like so. And it's a Berenstein with a red gem. Also makes it worth about $3,000 more, but if you get all three of them in there, it's worth $25,000 a pop. This box right there, a lot of people missed that. Da, 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 da. Look, another lock. However, shall we get through it? The power of modern technology. There's a... Mm, I guess it's not in this one. I thought there was a bomb set up right there. Oh, I know there's a save point there, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this part real quick. And then I'll do the save point that I know is going to be right beside me later. So we're going to grab this stuff. And there's that save point. Now, be careful when you walk through this hallway because I turn that corner and hit that bomb every time I play this game. That one in the room is pretty easy to see, but when you corner that door right there, you never really think that there's something right there, you know? Oh, you do, and you just don't expect it to hit you like that? Okay, so, push this out of the way, and then we go through here. I think I can open this. No, never mind. Dun, dun, dun. Shoot him! Shoot him! Cap his ass! Ah, oh, a little rough, don't you think? Oh, you're not like them? No. You? Okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Oh, shit. Perfect. That's a big motherfucker. The big cheese. What? I bet you guys can't tell me which one of his eyes is fake. Oh, no. End of the chapter. Well, that's it for me, guys. Remember, stay beautiful and stay happy. Peace.